welcome back to my channel. So today my inspiration for this look was like Coachella, music festival, those kind of vibes. And I find if it's one thing about like the music festival makeup scene is that they are so like experimental, they're so creative. So I wanted to just dip my feet in it a little bit and try something out myself. So I've never done those kind of glitter tears. But this is the first time I tried it and I actually don't think it came out too bad. Um, I try to be bohemian with my hair and as we can all tell I look more like Jack Sparrow than a bohemian princess but I ain't mad about it <laughs> so guys I hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something new um, don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment and I will see you guys in my next video hey you guys welcome back to my channel so we're gonna start off with the clean and clear dual action moisturizer this is one of my favorites and it really helps to keep my skin looking moisturized throughout the entire day then i'm gonna go in with the rose gold elixir this is like instagram's number one beauty oil and i must admit it feels so good and it smells amazing so i'm just gonna rub that all over my skin foundation i'm gonna use one of my absolute favorites the l'oreal infallible i'm in the color fresh beige and this foundation is more of a lightweight but it's medium to full coverage is really really buildable so i would definitely recommend it if you're in the market for a foundation that isn't too heavy but looks really flawless so if you've been following me for a little while you guys know that my absolute favorite concealer is the la girl pro conceal in the yellow corrector i literally use this almost every single day so I'm just going to go underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, and right by my contour lines. For my contour, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Chestnut. And I'm just going in upwards motions right on my cheekbones, on the sides of my forehead, down the sides of my nose, and my jawline just to sharpen and hide that double chin. So my favorite way to blend out the contour has always been with a stippling brush. I think it works the best. But for the concealer, I like to use any type of beauty sponge. So I just kind of dab it on top. And this helps to pick up any excess product and leave it looking flawless. I think with any type of sponge, you always want to pat instead of rubbing. I think when you rub, it kind of drags your product around. And when you pat, it really just helps to let it soak into the skin. And then when I'm finally finished with all the contour, I love to go back in with a stippling brush and just blend the foundation, the concealer, and the contour all together so it looks even throughout. So here's another one of my holy grail products and that is the Sasha Buttercup. I love this. I just like to dip my beauty blender into it and then set underneath my eyes. I like to pat, not rub. And I'm going to set all the places that I've highlighted. So setting your foundation, your concealer, and your highlight, I think is one of the most important parts. This is really going to ensure that none of these cream products or liquid products move or crease. To set my contoured areas, I'm going to use the Sasha Pro Face Powders. I'm just going to dip my brush into these two colors here and just blend from the highest points in my cheek, the furthest back, and whatever excess product, that is when I bring it down. So I don't want the bulk of my product low on my cheekbones. I want the heaviest and the most emphasized part high behind and then I'm just going to dust that same powder on my forehead and on my jawline. And then finally to highlight my nose, I just like to take a light brown powder and basically sandwich the highlighted area in the middle. So it just really lightly just dusts in it and you want it to be blended and not too 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 harsh. So once we have basically highlighted and contoured the entire face, I just like to take my stippling brush one more time and just dust off any excess powder and really just help blend everything in so it looks seamless. And now let's get started on the eyes. Okay guys, I am so in love with this look so let's get started. I'm going to first start off with my brows. I'm going to go in with the Milani Brow Pomade in the color Brunette. And I'm going to start to define that line underneath my brows and really start to darken up the brow hairs. I know I got a little bit of brow hairs, but I'm just working with what I got. Hey guys, I'm just working with what I got. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of charcoal brown from MAC. And I'm going to use that to darken up the hairs a little bit more. And finally, I like to use a little bit of a brow gel just to hold the hairs in place. So now for the start of the show, the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. So guys, I got this palette from the Law of Beauty. So for all my Trinidadian girls and guys, you'll need to check them out. They have amazing brands for so really, really affordable. So I'm going to leave all the info down below. 
starts off with the color burnt orange and I'm gonna really swoop that heavily into my crease I want it to have a nice wash of color and I'm gonna kind of wing it out at the outer corner then I'm gonna go in with the color love letter this is one of my favorites in the palette and I'm gonna focus that a little lower onto the crease I don't want it to go as high as the burnt orange because I still want that kind of orangey gradient but I want to really intensify that low on the crease and as well I'm gonna wing it out then I'm going to take a clean brush with no extra product on it and I'm just going to use that to blend the two colors together and really diffuse the two colors. Then I'm going to go in with this black glittery eyeshadow from Wet n Wild and I'm going to use this to start to carve out the shape for the halo eye. So I want it to be kind of intense that's why I'm going in with black and I like to go in like a half circle on my lid to basically carve out the crease and then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush to really blend that in and diffuse the colors a little more so it's not so ridiculously harsh. And then I'm going to go in with the color Bon Fresco, excuse my English, and I'm going to use that to kind of carve out underneath that crease. It's kind of like an antique lavender kind of mauve color I really really like it and then I'm gonna go back in with the black just to intensify that halo just a little bit more then I'm gonna go in with the Naked Cosmetics Glossy Lips Glitter Pigment and I'm gonna put that on the center of my lid because I just want the center to have a pop of glitter I'm using the LA Splash Glitter in the color Princess and then I'm also gonna add a silver glitter on top of it just to make it a little bit more iridescent Always be careful when you're using glitter around your eyes, guys. And then I'm going to use the color Tempera in the palette. It's the lightest shade. And I'm going to use that to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner. For mascara, I'm using the Rimmel Sexy Curve. This is one of my favorite mascaras to have nice voluminous lashes that aren't too clumpy. And then I'm going to add a pair of fake eyelashes. I'm using ones that are very long and dramatic. And then finally, I'm just going to add a little bit of liner just to conceal the band of the eyelashes. Then I'm going to go back in with the color Love Latin. I'm going to sweep this on my lower lash line, making it really smoky. And I'm also going to use that color to kind of mark off where my tears are going to fall. Um, remember guys, tears do not fall evenly, so you don't have to make them even on both sides. I think it actually kind of looks more authentic and nicer when the tears kind of fall unevenly. I'm going to use that same Naked Cosmetics Glitter Glue to line all the places that I marked off for the tears. This is going to help make the glitter stick and make it so that you don't have a lot of fallout. Which y'all know glitter is the worst to clean up. I'm using the same pink glitter and I'm just going to dip my brush into it and then just kind of place it on. And you can make it as intense or as light as you want to. So this is basically where the world is your oyster and you are just going to make this however you want to. Just so that the waterline doesn't look very bare, I'm going to go in with a purple eyeliner just to line the waterline. Then guys, I'm going to add some mascara and I'm going to use a pair of one of my old eyelashes and I'm going to cut them. They're actually kind of wispy so the front is a lot more tapered and small. So I'm going to use the front section of the eyelashes to add to the outer corner of the lower lashes so that they aren't too too long and ridiculous. And this is going to add to the whole kind of whimsical avant-garde look. So now that the eyes are complete, we can kind of finish off with the rest of the face. So I'm just going to bronze up my skin just a little bit more. And then I'm going to add some blush on my cheeks. Then I'm going to use the LA Girl Strobe Light Powder. This is just to highlight my cheekbones. I also got this from the Love Beauty. So if you guys are looking for it, then you can definitely check them out. And I think it gives a really nice subtle highlight. So now for the lips, this is where I was kind of conflicted. I didn't know if I wanted to do like a glittery lip as well. So this is me trying out the glittery lip and I think at the end of the day it really did kind of look way too much like overkill. But if this is what you like then by all means go for it but for me I just thought I looked like a disco ball. So at this point I was contemplating if I like it or not. I mean I do like it, it's really fun, it's really crazy and I'm sure people will see from a mile away. But I don't know, I just thought I wanted maybe something a little more toned down for the lips because the eyes are so dramatic. So I went in with a Colourpop lip liner and then I also went in with the colour Matte Classy from the Giordana Matte series. I really really like this whole matte Giordana lip so y'all definitely need to try these out. And then my favourite trick for getting that highlighted centre 
is the next liquid illuminator in the color Gleam. I think all I need now is a flower crown and I will be set for music festivals. Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I had so much fun doing it. I am literally going to be glitter eyes in myself day and night. One day is going to be blue, the next day is going to be green. Y'all are not even ready! <laughs> So I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. Um, if you try it out, then I would love to see it. So tag me on Instagram or send it to me on Snapchat, whatever you want to do. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!